we got some new information to go over. Here we go, chat. Developer Note 13. Dev Note Volume 13. Greetings, descendants. This is the director of the first descendant, Min Xiao Ju. I really hate if I'm pronouncing that correct, uh, wrong. First, I would like to apologize for everyone who had an inconvenience in season one update. Everyone's support is incredibly appreciated and our dev team is currently doing our greatest effort to resolve the current issue. Throughout this dev note, we would like to share some countermeasures regarding the invasion dungeon and Haley's farming difficulty issue. Oh my lord, come on, give us apologems. We, we are expecting gold in our um, daily mailboxes from, uh, for this mistake that has called, caused me trouble and a lot of grief. Uh, summary, modification in Invasion Dungeon and Inversion Reinforcement. Reduce the difficulty of puzzle mechanics, buff Inversion Reinforcement, and delete penalty in the next week 1.1.1 update. Okay, chat, I'm going to respond to this. Anybody who's had a difficulty clearing this and has had a lot of issues with this, how about you step your fucking game up? This shit was easy as hell. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. That is, look, I'm going to be honest. That was a skill issue. And if you're not able to properly survive and handle this and without getting triggered, without doing this, maybe maybe you need a maybe there's a problem with you you know but that's okay i'm not going to complain that they're reducing the difficulty but i'm just letting you know for future references the first two dungeons that did come out and i'm not trying to toot my own horn here or anything i'm a scrub but if a scrub like me can get through this fine i think a lot of people can uh but you know what i think um i think we need to we need to look into our builds um, uh, you know, look up some good guides. I know there's a lot of content creators that are putting on some nice work out there. Let's try to get better. Let's try to fix our guns, our defenses and stuff. Everybody is given a free bunny in the game. It's not even a question of character because I did this with my bunny. So it's not even like, well, I don't have a, a Eugen Ellie, so I can't do this. Everybody got a free bunny and I did it with my bunny. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying if you couldn't get through it with your free bunny that 100% of the player base should have, we need to go back to the drawing board. Something is up. But anyways, I won't stay too long in here. I already spent too much time here. I do think that they were already medium. They were not too difficult. They were not super easy. But again, I'm not going to complain. If it gets more people to play the game and more people to complete it, I'm all for it. But there is an issue here if you couldn't complete it in the past. Improve Haley farming prog process. Increase Haley's equipment material drop rate in the week's 1.10 hotfix. Improve development process FGT and prior feedback consideration. Improve community community communication we will fully listen and reflect everyone's opinion well that's impossible because people d differ you know you don't you shouldn't listen to everyone everyone in the community don't make sense okay i i still want the developers to take some liberty and and not listen to just anybody you know you 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 uh, that that is a little is a little worrisome when the developers try to take everyone's feedback into account and then over nerfing over nerfing this over buffing this over doing this because the community is complaining we need to, we need to be a little careful but I, I trust in the team i trust in the team maybe that's what they meant and they don't really need to specify that but um for invasion dungeons, to provide faster and better experience, we will lower the difficulty of the puzzle mechanics and will modify the monster spawning. For order of truth, to make it easier to remember the pattern, we will simpli simplify the arch pillars without patterns will be deleted. The direction of arch pillars will be adjusted to look forward at the battle area. Okay, not too bad, not too, too bad. And the drones patterns, I did fail some of them because of my mem memorization i'm like oh i thought it said this there and this and there so yeah but i just restarted and did it again and the drones patterns will be de uh designed vertically also to make the gameplay experience better tumors oh chat who up in here got tumors 
that cover the pattern and the ones that block the door will be easy, easier to destroy. That's, that's good. That's okay. Um, also, tumors that were once destroyed will not be generated. That's very good. That's fair. Overall, I think these last couple of changes would have been enough. You know, destroying the eyeballs or one shot of the gun, you just needed to do it one time, would have been a good change. Um, and also, um, destroying the tumors that cover the pattern and leave them destroyed would have been uh, also really good. Uh, that would have been enough, I think. That would have been enough. And I think if you were still having difficulty surviving the boss and surviving the raid patterns, then I think maybe you are not built properly. And we shouldn't encourage for somebody to just throw on the recommended modules and try to beat every piece of content in the game. We should be encouraging people to build correctly. Um, I don't think they were overtuned, but you know, that's just my take. Um, for the Legion of Darkness, the occupation time of Arch Tile will be shortened and the tile will be rearranged so that they are more easily distinguishable. The number of wrong Arch Tile will be reduced and self-destructive monsters which steals the Arch Tile will be deleted. And color puzzles um, symbol will be added to so the players with color weakness will more likely enjoy the game. Okay, I don't mind this. This is okay. Just like other legions, the puzzle mechanics for the Legion of Immortality will be modified in an easier way. As an invasion event of, for Legion of Immortality starts today based on today's feedback, blah, 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 blah. Um, also, inversion reinforcement will also be improved to let everyone fully enjoy inversion reinforcement systems. We are planning to buff most of the effects. <laughs> Come on, chat. Come on. Okay. Okay. Let me see here, chat. Let me see here. I do have something to say about this though. Where is your testing team? Because how easily you are able to bend over backwards a day after you release this, didn't this go through a testing team first? Shouldn't we have testing teams in place before we do this so we don't have to push people away? Because right now, first impressions are very important. And if people came back to the first Descendant to try the first season and they saw how difficult it was, how bad the grind is, they're probably not going to log in again. So I don't know if we can get more people to test. Maybe we can have a test realm or something. Because if you are so easily to change this on the next day, I think we didn't test this properly. Because it doesn't take a genius to understand that the season effects were poop from the very beginning. The, the, these effects for the season one were very poop. They're not that exciting. They were a little boring and they give you negative effects. It should be happy time to level up during the season so you can feel giga godly. Not no negative drawback. I don't know how this got through testing. Also the Haley thing. I can't believe there was not one member in the test team that not run the dungeons one time at least and say, huh, a 6% I'm assuming a 6% drop rate is a little too low. How, why were there no people running this before release? Uh, maybe it was pushed too ahead of our time and they didn't have enough testing. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to be too harsh. Um, I know that I'm already being too harsh, but I think we need to test these things a little bit more. You know, it, it, it's just, I, I, I don't know how some of these things got through. I'll just put it like that. Uh, modification and difficulty for evasion dungeons, but I'm I am at least content and happy that they are addressing them and they will be fixing them, which is which says a lot to begin with and it's really good. But first impressions are important as well, and if you have some people that had quit a long time ago and they're like, oh, I want to come back to season one and try it out. I want to try this thick character Haley. Let me try grinding. And then they realize that it's like this you potentially lost that person forever and won't be coming back till maybe season two so you want to you want to make sure that when you get your live patches out there some of this stuff is as you know looked over yeah 
Um, also, the drop rate for Haley's material and hand cell DNAs and evasion infiltration will be increased. I don't hope. I hope they don't go from six percent to twelve percent. I hope they understand that season one mechanics and missions will not be here forever. And we need to take a look at when season one leaves and new players come six months down the line, how can these six players acquire these Haley materials through regular dungeons easier? Because if we're going at the pace that we are right now at a 6% or 10%, that's extremely low for future players. We need to bump those numbers up, up by a lot. I'm talking 50% at least. Or around 50%, give or take. Yeah, it's just really punishing right now. Since we're doing season one, it's still bad, but we're going to have it infinitely easier than the people who come in in the future. When season one isn't here anymore, how are they going to get their materials? It, you know, it, you know it, I don't know. This should have been tested before release, but in a way, it's trying. We want it to be support users who can invest a lot of time to farm a Haley faster through the infiltration operations. Wait, our dev team wanted everyone, including our users, who only have limited time to finish Haley in 12 days in average. Damn, 12 days? That's long. That is so long. However, to accommodate um, opinion that Haley's farming takes too long, we're planning to increase the drop rate Haley's materials by about two times. You know what? I'm okay with two times, but I still think it's a little low. They will be updated tomorrow, chat. We have the Haley research update tomorrow. It takes a few days for ultimates. It took one day. It took like five hours-ish for Volby. Ultimate Volby took about five hours. Um, and I'm pretty sure not all, the, probably the longest descending you'll take is three days maybe, and that's with very limited time. But we're talking about 12 days, bro. They expected 12 days. That's crazy. Yeah. That's so bad. Um, but anyways, I'm happy with this change. Furthermore, we will improve our development process to meet the expectations of our players in the future updates. We're considering having FGT focus group testing. Oh my God, they answered. They answered. Wait, I didn't even, uh, she, she saw it. She read it before she went live, Chad. She read it before she went live. Hey, this is good. Pre-read. Yeah. This is really good. They are considering focus group testing. I was wondering what FGT stood for up here somewhere. Hey, they knew Ellie would complain about it. So here's the thing. I know that a lot of you guys like to say that I complain and I'm bitching. I'm not bitching for me, bitch, because I can swipe for anything. I'm not bitching for me. I'm bitching for you bitches who come into my chat or who type a little YouTube comment saying, oh my gosh, it's so hard, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Bitch, I can, I can swipe for this. Like, I'm not bitching for me. I'm bitching for the average player. I'm bitching for the, what is right and what is wrong. And the, 12 fucking days for Haley? That shit's crazy, considering no other character takes more than this. You know, like, like I'm not bitching for myself. I'm bitching for you guys. Um, we are considering having FGT. This, this is like a genius. Let's go next on. Reach out to me, daddy. Our dev team has been listening to various opinions about the first major update from the community. We will continue to respond quickly to the issues, communicate improvements, directions, transparency, and do our best to ensure that the descendants can enjoy the first descendant for a long time. <laughs> Chat, I cannot ask for any better developer right now. This is what we need. We need transparency, we need communication, and we need the ability, we need our developers to take a big serving of a humble pie and be like, you know what, we fucked up. It's okay, we'll adjust this, we'll fix this. That is 
a game that I'm willing to support. Chat, I'm logging in right now. YouTube, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Did you like these patch notes? Do you like the developers? Um, yeah, I'm logging in right now to support my, my, my team, and I'm going to swipe, chat. Log in! Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you... YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. Viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away. But all the success of this channel relies on you. And I'm very thankful if you hit that comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias. Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art, new stuff. If you want to see more of this... Follow me everywhere, Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.